We've all seen inspiring stories that move us emotionally. How does someone beat unbeatable odds? What gives someone the courage to press forward when all seems lost? How do some people succeed where other people fail? It's because of their emotional fingerprint. Your emotional fingerprint is what gives you the courage, the strength, and the hope to press forward. Hi, my name is Woody Woodward. I'm the producer and the director of the film Myology. I'm going to share with you an inspiring clip from the film of a woman named Mary Louise Zeller. Her story begins when she saw her 18-month-old son fall from a two-story window. I was depressed. Um, I cried a lot. I could be driving down the road and I'd start crying. Um, the baby held me together. I had to take care of him. Well, one Sunday morning, I was uh, reading the newspaper and I saw an ad for Taekwondo. And it said, um, to improve focus and concentration, of which I had none. It said, to strengthen self-confidence, of which I had none. I mean, if you can't keep your own child safe, how good a mother are you? I mean, it's like my self-confidence was shattered. So, uh, and then I was way overweight and out of shape, and it said, get fit. So I said, wow, that sounds like more fun than running and weightlifting and aerobics. And um, so I answered the ad. And I, um, I was just going in to check it out in um, Master Kim in Vallejo, California. He handed me a uniform. He says, here, put this on. There's something about the way a master says, here, put this on. You go, OK. I wasn't going to do that, but OK. And he taught me a lesson. He said, come back tomorrow. So I did. And I noticed that I felt more alive. And the more, I, uh, the more active I got physically, the more settled my mind got, the more settled my emotions got. The first two weeks, my muscles were so sore, I slept in the bathtub, really. It was the only place I could sleep. I had to bounce down the stairs on my bottom, uh, crawl up them. I, I don't know how I kept going, but it, it gave me a feeling of being alive again. It gave me hope. It, gave, it did give me self-confidence. The ad was true. People told me I was too old. I started when I was 44. And I was too old, especially when, OK, you're going to compete. The first time Master Kim said, uh, I want you to come to a competition. I thought he meant the mommy things, cheerlead, drive, make sandwiches. You know, and he says, oh, no, you will compete. It's the same thing. Give you a uniform. Put it on. I go, oh, OK, I'll compete. And I was terrified. I couldn't even get a deep breath. And I just did it anyway. And after it was over, I was like, wow. It was like being in high school again, getting on the bus, going to the basketball game. But I lost every match I fought for two years. You think you would just get discouraged and quit. But I finally went out there, instead of holding back, trying to stay safe. This is full contact Taekwondo. We wear protective gear in the Olympic style, but it is full contact. So I was trying to be safe. Well, you can't win trying to be safe. You can be safe trying to be safe, but you can't win. So I just got out there and I was going, I'm not losing one more time. I'm, I'm going to win this match. That poor opponent of mine, I went after her like a banshee. She was like, oh my gosh, did somebody drag this grandmother off of me? You know, so, and from then on out, I saw that I had something to do with it. Somewhere along the line, I said, I want to go to the Olympics. I'm sure that God has a sense of humor now <laughs> because to give me a desire to go to the Olympics when I'm, you know, 55 years old, uh, that's a sense of humor. And everybody thought I was ridiculous. But you know what? I gave them a run for their money. In the South, they'll say, it's better to shoot for the moon and hit the fence than to shoot for the fence and hit the ground. So I shot for the moon. I got fourth in the 18 and over division in full contact fighting, which requires speed, strength, stamina, endurance, um, amazing quickness. It is, a, it is a sport of quickness. You know, you really have to have a big dream to be alive. 
Power and passion in life live in that domain. The power of being internal is to actually be at the source of power. When I'm making a difference, I'm happy. If I can inspire you, look, you don't have to look forward to drooling in an old folks home when you get older. When I'm 80, I'm going to be on the mat in some form or fashion, some mat. You know, like whatever your mat is, I'm going to be on the mat playing the game. What I would like to leave you with, the one thing, is something that your coach will tell you, leave it on the mat. You know, when you go out, <laughs> when you go out to give it all, and you know you gave it all, it is so rich. Leave it on the mat. So when you think you don't have anything left to give, you've got everything to give. Leave it on the mat. Leave it all. Don't leave this life without leaving it all. Just give it. <laughs> Mary Louise Zeller is still leaving it on the mat. She just won the world championships in Taekwondo for form in the 18 year and older division. She's currently 65 years old. How does she do it? It's because of her emotional fingerprint. I want you to learn your emotional fingerprint. Go to iologymovie.com, pick up a copy of the film Iology. It will show you your emotional fingerprint. You'll see a positive impact in your personal life, in your relationships, and in business.